is going to visit the state and uh, is causing a lot of uh, controversy. Well, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, uh, engineer, Senator Rabbi Musa Konkoso, is not only my boss, he's a brother, he's a father, he's a leader, because he is somebody who, as Kano State Governor, has done quite a lot for the state in the area of education, in the area of provision for amenities that could support the development of businesses in the state, infrastructural development, and uh, quite a lot to mention. So for any person who comes from Kano, and any right-thinking Kano citizen, or indigen rather, to them Kano state, to them engineer Dr. Rabi Musa Onkoso, is a father, is a brother, and he means quite a lot to so many people. Uh, a lot of people are saying that um, uh, the Konkosia uh, followers are the ones that are causing a lot of uh, uh, issues which may, may lead to a crisis or a fight between uh, the supporters of the incumbent governor, uh, that is Abdullah Umar Gandhi, by saying that um, Konkosia, Basulu, then they say Shagika Fasa. Well, those are just uh, political terminologies, but uh, if I can take you back into history, we all started the journey of Konkosia as a group including the faction that is now called Gandujia, we all started Kongosia together and it was a movement which we all came together and at the end of the day we gave birth to what Kano stated today, where the governor Abdullah Gandujia emerged as the Kano state governor, President Muhammad Buhari got 2 million votes from Kano, we got 44 local government chairmen, 484 councillors, uh, 24 members of the House of Representatives and uh, 40 members of the state assembly. So everybody in Kano today who is elected uh, is a beneficiary of the Konkosia movement. And it has been always a peaceful movement then. So why now suddenly, because the Gandujia faction decided to break away from that movement, that they are trying to be portraying a movement that delivered them into office today to be termed as uh, a violent faction. We have never been violent. We have ruled Kano for four years, and everybody knows how Kano was governed. Everybody is a living testimony of how Kano has been transformed from where it used to be to what Kano is today, a more modern society. Today in the whole Nigeria, if you are to take an assessment of a state that has more postgraduate uh, qualified students, Kano is ranking, if not number one, it is definitely ranking amongst the first three. So it's, it's, it's a group that believes in the development of the social, social class of the people. It's a group that has empowered so many people, more than 40,000 women. It's a group that has supported a lot of people to become doctors, to become pilots, and to become one in the society. It is a group which has given right to the development of a recreational center where people who have uh, gone astray or into drugs or whatever, they have been rehabilitated and given uh, skills and uh, taught different kind of skills so that they can be able to live on their own. Okay, it's still on the issue of the flying visit. Uh, because of what happened to Walid in Concorsia uh, yeah. and a brother to the commissioner, Will Kankaso not shelve this his uh, plan to visit Kano State so that there will not be any clash? Well, the whole essence of all this clash and all this uh, commissioner coming out to see stone the satan or people having nuptial meetings or people portraying all these things, it is all to defeat the coming of Kankaso to Kano State. Uh, governor Ravi Musa Kankaso, when he was governor in his first tenure and when he is governor in his second tenure, at the prime end, the twilight of his administration, he always made one vow. If he leaves office, he's going to stay for a period so that he can allow who comes in after him to be able to govern in peace. And that was exactly what he did. He stayed away from Kano for more than two years so that Governor Ganduji can be able to rule in peace without anybody coming to assuage that uh, the governor is interfering in the activities of Governor Ganduji. So he has stayed for those years now, and it is time now that he felt, because the local government elections are coming, so it is time for political uh, engagement. So as a politician, and as a sitting senator, and as an indigent of Kano State, he said, okay, I am coming back home. Why should he shut?
special bit. And after all, uh, this case is just a one-off case. The commissioner uh, decided to make some incitive statements and just look at what happened. His own children, the commissioner's children, were the first people that took the gunplay and assaulted his own stepbrother. So you can see why people have to maintain decorum wherever they are in society. And we from the Tungwasiya faction are calling on all people of current state to make sure that peace is the world. Because we believe in it and that we enjoin everybody to be peaceful because we are coming in a peaceful manner. Quickly, uh, there are a lot of uh, rumor or report that uh, your boss says is Rabi Musa. Senator Rabi Musa from Koso is uh, leaving the APC defecting to another political party with the report saying either P he is going back to his former party PDP or PRP. Yeah. How true is that? We are members of the All Progressive Congress. Is there any move for him to move? Well, we shouldn't be talking about a move or no move when there is no move. We are members of the APC. We are proud card carrying members of the APC. But it, your people don't recognize Ganduji. We don't, he's the governor of Kano State. As as it, as what I mean, what I mean, what I mean you don't State. recognize Ganduji is that they prefer to support uh, uh, somebody from another political party than to support uh, Ganduji. Well, as far as we are members of the APC, I cannot be talking about supporting a member from any political party. We are not talking about anti party here. We are saying Ganduji pulled out of our own faction and he decided to find peace with people who are strongly and politically against us. That does not mean we should join party with anybody that thinks of that. We are Concursia members and the ideology of Concursia is about development. That is why now we moved, since we are out of the state government, we had the Concursia Foundation. And under the Concursia Foundation, we are just doing one thing, supporting the people of Kano State. Thank you very much, uh, Mama Jam.